Okay, hi, welcome back to Stay Positive, guys. This is a historic episode because it's our first one where I get to interview a guest remotely, which it had to come to a pandemic for me to get my shit together and figure out how to call, have a call-in guest, you know? And the reason I had never really done it before is because I do like the in-person interview. I think, you know, the face-to-face -face value for me was very helpful and for video and everything, but because we can't do that anymore, because that's not cool, um, I figured out the video calling thing, and it's very easy and it's very cool, and I tried to capture video screenshot of the guest and intercut that slash uh, just layer it with my own video, so, you know, hopefully it's okay. I don't know, guys. I, I, I uh, yeah, you know, that's most of my, yeah, that's like all the noises coming out of my mouth right now. So uh, hopefully it works out, and I hope everyone's doing well, you know? I'm here in Los Angeles. Beautiful, rainy Los Angeles today, because um, apparently on top of this quarantine, we're just deciding to really just put a damper on everything. Um, but yeah, and I'm doing the whole safer at home thing, of course, like we should, staying in, hanging out, making podcasts, listening to podcasts, hopefully you are too. Um, and yeah, and I hope we're doing all right, you know, yes, things are scary right now, but that's why we gotta, we gotta just keep talking to each other over video chat, and you know... That's the future. So I'm very excited for you guys to see the pixelated face of my friend who was a guest on this podcast. Um, no, he's amazing. I'm very, I was very thrilled to have him on because he's a guy, you know, that I wanted to reach out to have on the podcast before when we were still allowed to see each other in the same room and breathe the same air as each other. But now that that's illegal, uh, I decided to, you know, still have him on, obviously. And he was so kind to be okay to do a little call-in from his room at home and, you know, what a what a kind soul. Um, but this guest was really exciting. So he is an actor, stand-up comedian. Uh, his very most recent notable role was the lead Chester. Oh, God. I almost, uh, I keep choking on my own spit and people think I'm coughing. I'm not. I'm just choking on my own spit. Okay. Back to this guest. So he plays the lead, Chester, on um, AMC's The Terror, which is season two of The Terror, which is this really awesome anthology series that kind of mixes historical fiction with thriller and supernatural. It's really cool. Um, but season two is really specifically cool because it actually takes place in the Japanese internment camps, um, or actually they call them Japanese concentration camps. I think that's the proper term now because, um, and this happened in the U.S., right? Japanese Americans were incarcerated uh, solely for being Japanese during a time when we were at war with Japan. And it's a huge part of American history that I think gets left out because it's kind of shameful uh, to Americans that they did this. Um, we did this. But also my grandparents on my father's side who are Japanese American were incarcerated. And so were Derek's grandparents. And so it's so cool that he got to really like uh, play this role in this TV show because it's really a, it's not something we see a lot on TV. And this was a big moment. It came out. Um, when did this come out? initially. I, mean, I can't remember, but it came out kind of in the past year or so and was really big for like the Asian American community just because that's not really something that gets depicted very often. So it was cool to see. And, you know, it's really kind of spooky, scary. It's got like really fun, uh, exciting elements to it that I think you'll enjoy. And you can watch all of it on Hulu. So if you have a Hulu subscription or you're thinking of getting one because you got all the time in the world now, uh, definitely watch The Terror Season 2 on Hulu. Um, season 1 covers another historical event he talks about that as well that's not related to season two because it's an anthology series so you can watch either or or just watch season two or whatever you want to do i'm not the boss of you all right but um this guy he played chester he also was a stand-up comedian we talk a lot about just general fun stuff and he's making hilarious uh comedy videos on his instagram so follow him his name is derek mio hi derek Thanks for hey, doing Sierra. this is the first remote podcast of stay positive oh wait i gotta show you you might not be able to see it. I got your little sign here Aww. for the fans and the f funds. Oh, you're missing the underscore, but that's... Oh, no. It's okay. okay. It's okay. I'll, uh, you know, I'll add it in, in post. We'll do it in post. VFX. We'll CG. Depending on the social media platform. Right, um, right, right. Sorry. You got, you got the twits. That sounds good. I got the twits uh, at Derek Zemio. Oh, Ooh, that's right. I've seen that Z. What's that Z? Uh, that's my middle name. What is it? What's your middle name? Oh, oh, oh. It's uh, Zenji. <laughs> oh, cool. Wait, I just thought you're like, Z is for Zanger. Why is that funny? Why is that funny? 
well, you, I asked you, what's the Z? And you're like, it's my middle name. Of course it's your middle name. I wanted to know what your middle name is. Yeah, it's Zenji. Um, uh-huh. My, I think my great grandpa, his name was Jen Matsu, but it, it should have been Zen Matsu, mm. but probably in immigration, it got turned to a J. And then, so my Classic. dad's middle name is <laughs> Zen. Classic cultural I know. Um, watering down. Um, and then my brother's middle name is Zen. Ooh. And so mine is Zen G, and I think the J I means like the second or the the oh, next. Nice. So if that doesn't give you a complex to try to make you want to distinguish yourself, oh right, that G I don't know. man, that G sent you into a career I think from from of birth. Theater. Yeah. Um, I am my own person. <laughs> Wow, is that little you Derek? Shall... Well, you, I was just playing off of I you. mean, I I was playing off of little Derek that I Yeah, little Derek, brain. yeah. Um, Shakespearean. It's exciting. Yeah. So how you been holding up, man? This has been a fun little week we had here, a little unprecedented quarantine. Yeah, yeah. And I, I wanted to be as ratchet and as authentic as possible. It's good, it's um, good. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, grow this for the duration Ooh. just to see, because I've always want wanted to, but Fun. like I'll grow, I'll grow up my facial hair for as long as I can before I need to cut it for like an audition. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can tell like how much I've been working or how, how much I'm getting auditions <laughs> based on my facial <laughs> hair right, growth. Right, right. If you're like... Um, full beard yeah. you know but i mean you, you're probably doing some self tapes in the quarantine at least that's available right yeah 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 um so and you never know like if a role will call for like scruffy asian sure. american um scruff uh, scruff comma asian yeah scruff yamamoto <laughs> 28 nice scruff yamamoto that sounds like a good comic I could see that as a good comic book series. <laughs> yeah, or like a like a dog, like an Asian American dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. A... Clifford. Right, right, right. Scruff Yamamoto solving crimes and eating kibble. <laughs> That's the lot. Uh, you don't. Are there any um, sponsorship plugs on your podcast? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. We're not there yet. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll you'll get there. But yeah, uh, I was there. I was gonna I was gonna plug because you were asking you know yeah yeah uh, well I yeah I'm very relevant plug like, anything how we're holding up with the whole quarantine but uh, some useful I don't know when this is gonna go up but some useful resources that um, I've come across during this whole thing has been um, uh, oh shit I gotta look it up. No, uh, staples.com for disinfectant wipes. Oh, like those Clorox yeah, supplies. wipes yeah. that, that kill. Good call. Um, that kill viruses. You gotta, I, every viruses. label is now Which gonna virus? say. No, gonna, yeah. Kills right. viruses. And then, um, Art Naturals, uh, for hand sanitizer. Oh shit! They have. I just I I just got my shipment. I I don't know when I ordered it. It was probably like a couple months ago. But uh, oh, no, they're it, out. It, it they might are have, so out. No, it might have been like a couple weeks ago. But on their website, mm. I checked yesterday. It says they have in mm. stock and they're shipping. So on Instagram, it's at Art Naturals, and they're sixty two point five percent ethyl alcohol, which oh, is you that's know, enough, right? CDC, you know, minimum requirements and. Oh, got it whatever um sweet i mean you know natural shit uh it, you know i feel like they probably will be out soon especially after this big yeah. plug <laughs> but i do have just the old isopropyl got the old isopropyl i've been okay. wiping down things with that 90 percent, a bit overkill if you ask me but i had it already so nice you were About prepared you saw shit. this yeah you saw this coming i did i started it um, it was me, guys. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I I appreciate the plugs. I think that's really important. I was really, I thought I was being sneaky because I was like, ooh, Target has groceries. Maybe I can buy broccoli off of Target. And they're just like never uh-huh. able to deliver because their delivery oh, windows really? are obviously all like, no, 
no offers. But I would say, oh, you know what I did the other day is basically um, we waited until Amazon Prime, like until midnight when they refresh their delivery windows mm. and for the mm. next two days. So then like we were able to get a delivery window because we refreshed at midnight. It was like buying concert tickets. We were literally like refreshing yeah. the page and then like, oh, we got it. 8 to 10 a.m. on Friday. And it came. So I'll live a little longer, which is nice. I know. It totally is like the grocery stores. It's like the new, um, yeah, it's like the new uh, Jordan right, right, sneaker drop. Up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, have crazy. you done any, I don't know, any any routine tricks for the corona times? Staying at home? Routine tricks. Yeah, I'm pretty much staying inside. I mean, I'll go for like a walk um, just to get, you know, some fresh air outside. Mm-hmm um that's pretty much it. it's crazy how slow time is going i know it's you know I, I don't even know what day it is but also i know it's far earlier in the week than it always is you know you just can guarantee that even though it's friday yeah. but it should definitely be next friday yeah like this is week three right no this is yeah, yeah i know one. i like looked at a calendar to try to think of like okay what if i contracted it like when I went outside because I was like not aware at a certain time right, right. before it all went crazy. And I'm like, it's still within the realm of, cause like you could get We've got incubation. Some time. Yeah. yeah, I know. And I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> like how is it still within 14 days? It feels like it's been a year. Can we just get there? Can we just, I know, I know. Can we have a time machine, get home? to the the incubation period. It's ridiculous. Um, No, not, not, no, the routine um has been like probably not good but open up the phone s- swipe right <laughs> swipe right to apple news and just see like what the fuck happened I while i was sleeping you know it's terrible but i do the same thing you know you gotta check it on there you gotta check it out what's going you gotta on see if there's yeah if there's like a like a like a tidal wave coming or like i you know, know add a little extra pizzazz to our quarantine just a well that's what i'm saying it's like this yeah, this is so unprecedented, right? And, like, I don't think anyone could have foreseen this coming. We always hear about, like, oh, we're due for this. We're due for the big earthquake. Like, right, I'm ready. Right. Like, no, nah, yeah, the earthquake. We're, sure, we're I thought that was going to be the thing. Uh-huh. It's going to come. Or, like, a UFO. Like, I, if Aliens. I could see a UFO, yeah, I honestly would be good. Like, mm-hmm. fulfill, like that's, I just want, I just want that. I just want to see that. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool if they, like, canceled each other out, you know? Like, if the alien came down and was like, oh, you mean this whole vaccine? <laughs> they fucking just popped it in everyone's face. That would be sweet. Oh, this whole thing? This whole thing? Do you think they're... This? Do you think that they're friendly? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I would love that, right? Because I feel like every movie is like, they're here to take over, they're going to... Wipe us yeah. out, which makes sense, just given the way that things act when they invade other territories and environments on Earth. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd love a little twist. I'd love a little like, oh, at the end of the day, we're just all buddies. That's what they do in their world. And we're the ones who are kind of being defensive, you know? That'd be fun. Primitive, yeah. But I don't know. So what do you primitive. Think? I think they're just an advanced version of who we are. Advanced. And they've just, they've just been here. And, they're like, and when and when the last thing happened, yeah, the, whether it was the the asteroid or the uh, the I don't know whatever it was, they're like, and then that was good noise. But they've always been around, just kind of like checking checking on things, and like, oh damn, shit's going down down there. Oh, okay. Don't don't want to go down there. Um, but yeah, it's like it's like it really is like the movie Independence Day. Like we need that common enemy to sure. band together and i feel like that's what that this is right now the coronavirus is like dude we're all in this together it's not like us against china us against russia it's like if you can't you know it's like totally yeah it's kind of you can't be against unique. each other because it's only gonna it's only gonna f yourself right right yeah it really is like an ultimate and it test. has uh-huh yeah yeah, because, like, even if they don't, if, like, say, you know, China's kind of on the uh, the up and up, they seem to be mm-hmm. doing better 
I don't know, right? But like, I, yeah. I saw some article that like now they're worried about us like flying over there and reinfecting them because we have it now. So it is sort of like, well, they kind of have to help us out of their own self-interest and then we kind of should have helped them more <laughs> out of our own. But yeah, we're learning. We're learning as a, as a globe. It's just nuts. Yeah, like this is like, this is going to affect how we live for the rest of our lives. Oh, totally. Yeah, you know? I know. Everyone's going to be a germaphobe. All these kids And are how we interact with each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, socially, I'm already in a deficit. Like, I feel like I'm just becoming yeah. more and more weird and hermity but yeah, now it's, now it's like help. and i've already and i've already done it like at grocery stores i'm guilty of it but like if someone just accidentally brushes you it's oh, like god. Ah. oh god no sorry. yeah no way sorry yeah it's so awkward like you know it's like in the grocery store like Dipping i don't know dodge. it was like in like yeah it was like in the protein bar section mm. you know and some guy's looking at something so i'm like you know trying to be six feet away and then right. like a girl kind of comes over here and i just the moment i kind of feel her i'm just and then she's like <laughs> right, right, sorry right. i'm like no i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> no it's just like oh my god yeah exactly it's ridiculous. It, just, it changes everything it's ridiculous yeah and it's like don't doesn't matter if it's like if it's gone or it's like the levels have dropped like forever right. we're just like gonna be like Scarred. hey I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start seeing some really awesome mask fashion, I'm sure, pop up finally out here, you know, like it was big in Asia. Nike. And now it'll be here. Yeah, Nike. Yeah, Nike, um, Apple. Branded. Gucci. Nice. I'm into the it. Gucci mask. I'm into it. Um, but yeah, I, I went on a like hike trying to be away from society and it was crowded. So I think I went on like one of the first sunnier days out here which is yeah. kind of like, it's been kind of rainy. So yeah. I think everybody was like, oh, a hike. And then like, it was like, ah, like I was just like, ah, trying to like walk around. And, and you know, it's like a pretty smallish, narrowish trail. So I was like, which to, like, trail, which trail, weeds. which trail did you do? Um, I went to Elysian Park in Echo Park back where I used to be. I'm okay. actually a little further east now, but um, yeah, it was lots of people walking their dogs, which I love to see it. But, and then I saw someone touching yeah. the other person's dog and I'm like, I'm not, you know, even though dogs supposedly can't get sick from it, it's like, I don't want to touch someone's dog who's been touched by their person, you know? Yeah, and I wouldn't want to spray, you know, spray it dog. first. Spray yeah, the spray dog the first. Dog. Spray <laughs> down the dog. Fumigate the dog. I, I literally, like, also I would see dogs coming that I was like, oh, so cute. And then the owner would kind of be like, don't you dare come touch this dog. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not going to touch your dog. I just want to admire it. Are you dog. Chinese? <laughs> well, that too, That's yeah. That's yeah thing. no seriously i you went on a it. hike i went on a hike so i'm down in um huntington beach right oh, now. right mm -hmm. yeah and so i went on a hike um with my parents and uh and my mom wore her mask and i guess you know it's okay or you should it's precautionary whatever yeah, but i was fun. like i was like mom don't wear the mask you're just gonna freak everyone out <laughs> just keep your distance you know and sure enough we're on the trail and you know guy's walking by um and as he passes her he just goes <laughs> oh my god like and my mom so laughed dramatic. she thought it was a joke she's like, uh, oh my he, god oh he's serious oh. right <laughs> oh yeah for you all know. the audio listeners this guy just put his arm around oh, yeah, his face know. and put his like, like full-on arm, arm blockage mask. up to the face yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put like a choke so hold on himself but yeah i mean the funny thing, though, like, ironically, it's like if you're wearing a mask, you're less infectious, right? So people should be less scared yeah. of that versus, yeah, you know, free face Derek over here coming in. <laughs> um, wait, so you went to so your home with your your home with your family then? So, yeah, I'm home, home I'm home. I'm home. I'm home with the That's parents. Good. I have a lot of friends um, who like went home. I mean, I'm lucky enough where my parents are close enough no. where i feel like i can get to them if it's if anything happens but like yeah um yeah i'm at the moment i'm just like you guys stay home trying to wrangle them these, yeah like, these no be, be going rogue oh yeah it was like in the <laughs> beginning like my mom like went to the gym or was going to the gym like what are you doing you know right, right. oh pretty uh, pretty uh good fitness yeah, mom my, but yeah you should gotta do it yeah my indoors. dad was gonna my dad loves karaoke. He was going to go to karaoke. I'm like, what do you know? <laughs> like, karaoke, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. I just inhaled some We're going to open mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. Go to your 
<laughs> talking to a Corona microphone. Um, no, but I, so you're, yeah, I, I really, cause like, I'm, I feel like really lucky in that, um, like I have company during yeah, yeah. thing, but like no, people crucial. that are by themselves, like I can't imagine. I know. Well, they're probably listening to podcasts. Hello. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, so yeah, I would say sure. too, uh-huh. I would say to those people and I did it last night for the first time. Have you, um, FaceTime with multiple friends? Yeah, 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 actually I did it. Yeah. I'd done it in the past because of just friends living in other cities, but now it's like so crucial. Yeah. Oh, that was so like That's Oh my cool. god. It was like yeah. I was at like it was like like Disneyland. It was like ah, it was, Yeah. Yeah, it was so refreshing. I was That's like, so oh fun. people, faces and not text. And... Yeah. Yeah, I mean they, there there's even a thing where you can like watch Netflix together or something. I haven't tried that yet, but Oh yeah, we haven't we haven't tried that either. Yeah, we saw yeah. that though. But like this is like it's like the new normal. It's like some. I know, so strange. I mean, silver lining. Yeah, is that you get to connect with friends, right? Because I feel like with a lot of my friends who are in, you know, in a different city or whatever, I don't connect with them that often. But then now it's sort of like, well, we literally, that's the only way to connect. So it doesn't matter yeah. if you live five minutes from me or five hours from me. Yeah. Like, I can just, it's all equal now, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Because um, then they're not distracted by their local friends. <laughs> And they have to talk right. to me if I ask them. No, but um, yeah. And like, so that's kind of fun, you know, as far as like just trying to see what we can get out of this. Um, I don't know. It's, but it's, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I so I live with my boyfriend. So luckily we have some sort of like person here. Okay, good. But yeah, good. I get, one of my friends who lives alone, like he flew back to his family. A lot of friends flew back to their families. Yeah, I see that going on a lot. And that's going to go on for a while. But I just, you know, and I'm very lucky to have worked before this Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, so that I have a little bit, you know, of a financial security. But like people that live paycheck to paycheck, you know, I can't. So ridiculous. So many people. Yeah. And something like 40 percent of Americans or something can't afford like a 400 hundred dollar unexpected cost that was like a statistic thrown out there but yeah, it's like yeah this is beyond a 400 hundred dollar unexpected cost <laughs> yeah so that's like another kind of incubation period that we're gonna like sure see what's oh, gonna happen at the end of right whatever end of April right where they they're gonna dismiss evictions and oh, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah um I hope it's they crazy figure though. that out ASAP. Um, and then I was also thinking, like, you know, like as an actor, right? It's like mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't book anything, but that that could have been the biggest blessing ever. Sure, yeah. Because a lot of shows are shooting in other places, and you, you have to travel stuck. and look yeah. at, you know, Daniel Day Kim. He said he was yeah. in New York filming, and then you know, and I'm sure everyone, all the traffic in the air in the airport. Sure, travel like, a lot for your job, and yeah, yeah, and like a lot of people to be working with and interfacing with and sharing food with and stuff like that. So, a blessing. Oh yeah. I mean, you could do lots of. Um, I'm I'm trying to think of like what could be filmed now. It's like well, a lot of animation, so you could do voice acting. <laughs> you know. Yeah. At least that. Yeah. Maybe is still possible in this time. I don't know. Sure. Are would you? Would they be able to yeah, open up I'm... a set? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but I do want to dive into, you know, you. Who's Derek? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously you're an actor and we were talking about this in the context of Corona, but like you're a, you're a freaking actor, dude. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, you know, and you're working on cool projects, but specifically um, the big kahuna this past year was Terror. Season two on AMC, now available on Hulu. That's great, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're amazing in it, and you're like the lead. I remember when I was watching, I was just like, wow, this is a lot of Derek. It's incredible. And you like, you freaking carry the show, you know, you handle it. And it's a lot, um, which, you know, I respect. So yeah, what was that wow. like? Tell us, tell us, uh, tell, tell the fans it what was, it was like to it be. Was, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I've... Uh... We know each other through stand-up. Yes. Um, I'm much newer to the stand-up game than you are. I've been doing stand-up maybe maybe four years. Nice. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and I started doing it because, you know, things were drying up on the acting front or, like, you know, I was, wasn't making much um, progress there for a while. I think it was, like, 
the longest that I'd gone without booking an acting job before I booked the terror. Cool. Uh-huh. Um, but during that time, stand up was sustaining me, you know, creatively. Yeah, yeah. And um, and uh, so I went to I went to film school. I grew up down here in Huntington Beach, and then I went to film school at USC, and then I started acting during college because I interned with a commercial agency because I was applying for all these internships mm-hmm. and that was the only place that got back to me. Um, and that, um, was a, a domino, you know, that started it all cause, um, they started sending me out as talent cause they didn't have a big Asian roster. Oh, cool. uh-huh. And then, so that got, you know, I took the headshots and the resume got printed up and then eventually I, I acted in a, a short film that uh, a Japanese American filmmaker, Chris Tashima, who had won an Oscar for a best live action short oh, a few wow. years earlier. Um, so I was the lead in that um, called Day of Independence. And that also took place in the internment camp. Oh, okay. I think you said you post about, was it like kind of baseball related as well? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I played one? a baseball oh, okay. player. Very cool. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they, they played baseball uh, in the camps. Right. Um, and... Uh, so that went to a film festival and I met my manager and then she got me an agent. And then, you know, Sweet. from there I was just acting primarily. Um, but yeah, the terror was, like you said, it was a lot. It was um, the most um, profound experience maybe of my life because uh, the concept of the show mm-hmm. is that they take a historical event and add a supernatural element cool. to it. Yeah. So in the first season of the terror, it was about a, a British expedition in the Arctic in like the 1840s. And the ship in real life, you know, was, it just disappeared. It was never found. So in the show, it's based on a book. Um, it shows that they're being stalked by this kind of prehistoric polar bear <laughs> creature. But in the process, it's really about the breakdown between the men um on the expedition uh Uh, so for our season they took the um the real historical event of the japanese american internment which occurred after pearl harbor um and you know that's when you know thousands of japanese american and japanese families here in, in the united states were rounded up and sent to uh concentration camps um including my um my grandfather's family Mm. um and they were from terminal island right which was a real japanese immigrant community down uh by like long beach Mm. harbor it's it's all industrial now but that was a big japanese american community that's where my great grandpa kind of settled in and you know um opened up a cafe and then you know did well or you know sent for a picture bride because you need that right yeah, you gotta family. treat yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Treat yourself the old pigeon right? And uh Yeah, and then they, they opened up a second cafe. And oh wow, really franchise. Well. And, then, uh-huh. and then and then boom <laughs> French. <laughs> yeah, I mean it could That's have awesome. Been, uh, unless, sure, unless yeah. It was World interrupted. War that happened. Yeah. Yeah, a little. Oh boy, but yeah, yeah. That's I actually didn't know about Terminal Island. I think until I saw you talking about that slash also on the show. You know, so that was really cool. Yeah, Yeah, well, that was really Mm -hmm. that was that's what was crazy about the show is that they decided to set it in this very insular kind of marginalized community that's not no known about at all. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, it was just such a weird coincidence that I had a personal connection to that community. Sure, yeah. You know, Very and, cool. and, and the whole internment event as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, you know, to be the lead of a yeah, show incredible. that does that, but you add in like kind of supernatural, you know, monster, you know, elements that best. were... Uh-huh. Um, rooted in japanese folklore mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which because they they were really adamant about uh, maintaining the uh, oh, cool. uh the authenticity yeah, yeah. you know the history sense. and the culture and stuff um 
so yeah, it was it was uh, really really special. George Takei is yeah, in yeah. it, and Legendary. you know to work with him, and now I mean I can just joke. I'm just joking with George at joking these different with George. events. It's, Welcome to joking yeah, with George. Up, George. Very cool. Yeah, I know what a up, what a legend. Um, but yeah, I mean all those things that I think it was really cool. A seeing you in it, seeing you lead it, and very much like. It was your family's story. So it was kind of like no one else could tell that story like you, which is really cool. And, um, you know, so I also I'm half Japanese. You know this about me. But um, my grandparents on my father's side were um, incarcerated at Poston in Arizona or Poston, I guess is maybe the correct pronunciation. But anyway, yeah. So they, you know, went through that as well. And I think I grew up going to Manzanar and kind of seeing that and, you know, what is left of it, but just sort of like knowing about that history. It's literally not taught in so many schools. I think in my school, luckily they taught it, um, but it was like one day, you know, which is more than nothing. Uh, At least they spent a day on it, but like, you know, it's really, it's American history, but it's so hidden. We, me and uh, Alex Wu, who was the uh, showrunner Mm -hmm. for The Terror, he wrote on True Blood and he's an amazing writer. He's worked on a whole bunch of things, but uh, we went to USC film school to, um, talk about it they it's a i believe it's a tv symposium class oh wow Mm -hmm. and they show like you know episodes or pilots of different shows so they showed our pilot and then after alex and i did a little panel and q a and i asked them i was like just out of curiosity did anyone not know that this actually happened and like (gasps) multiple not know in call oh wow that's crazy but yeah i guess so because like the fact that they don't, you know, it definitely happened in California, right? Like, you know, it's very local even to California. So the fact that like it's right. rarely, you know, it can even be missed here is not a good sign for like West Virginia, you know, the last state to get right. the coronavirus. They're also not learning about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, don't know. I just assume nothing true? could get in there. Well, they, they have a case now, but I think they were at zero before uh, when everybody uh-huh. was at greater than zero. <laughs> What is it about West Virginia? Yeah, I know. Time to go say hello to the old Smokies. <laughs> I don't know what's out there. <laughs> um, Just bring a mask. Yeah. But yeah, so that's crazy. That is crazy. But uh, yeah, even like, yeah, even just like people not knowing about it or the fact that I think also within the families of people who were incarcerated, it's sort of like a thing where you don't talk about it or they didn't talk about it. So then even their kids don't know much about it. And then they're, you know, um, I'm a grandkid doesn't know much about it as a result. You know, I think um, exactly. there's like that story that came out about how, um, Oh no, now I'm blanking, but you know, the, the uh, Frank guy, <laughs> the Frank guy who did the, the Supreme court case. What's his last name? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's fine. But I know. Box. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I also don't remember, but his first name is Frank, so pretty close. Um, basically, his like daughter didn't even know that he did that. Like, she learned oh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. that from class. That with them being like, "Oh, there was this, you know, so and so versus the United States," and she's like, "Hey, that's my dad's name." And everybody was like, "Is that your dad?" And she's like, "I don't think so. He didn't talk about it, but it was her dad." So like, you know, we don't maybe. It, it's definitely like a. I think it was described to me like it's a little bit it's very shameful just sort of like everything they had to go through that they felt was that way even though they shouldn't feel that way but right and so then it's just yeah. kind of been lost on all fronts because like obviously america yeah. is ashamed of that at least you know it's not something you'd want to revisit right um especially you know being treated inhumanely like that of course. i mean we probably wouldn't want to talk about this you know but it's social right. media yeah except uh it's gonna be hard I'm tweeting about it every day yeah, yeah. oh how the generations yeah. have transformed um check my youtube i know channel. everybody i'm podcasting all hours um but yeah so, so well documented this quarantine <laughs> no on the contrary uh... um but yeah oh and then also yeah, do... oh wait go ahead oh yeah oh, i just want to say also your stand-up hilarious you do a great trump impression which i think people are listen Millions of people. Listen, I mean, it's hard to. It's hard. Listen, <laughs> I mean, watching the press conferences, it's like it's a, it's not funny, but it is because like the way oh, he says things, ridiculous. you know, billion, hundreds and millions and billions of dollars, lots, lots of money, big, big amounts of money. It's great. Being spent 
<laughs> you know, we're gonna be, we're a, gonna defeat it. We're like... gonna be the best at doing it. I think we're the best at doing it. We're gonna get rid of the virus. <laughs> the way that it's you the do... Chinese virus. We're gonna have an American cure. Oh God! Isn't it? He would totally it made say in that. Germany. Listen, yeah, we got a lot of Germans here too. <laughs> it's America. Listen, it's so good. Yeah, come on, man. We're all in this together. Literally, it's the way you, the way you do the like bottom row of your teeth, and you show the bottom row. <laughs> Very, Listen, very, yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to watch the video on point. <laughs> yeah, if you're on audio, you gotta watch go the to video. Sierra's, go to Sierra's YouTube channel. Great videos, great, great, funny, funny, funny videos. Videos with images and sounds, audio and visual. <laughs> That's what a video is. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like winging it, you know. He's just constantly yeah. just saying words that don't need to be there. It's terrible. But yeah, I mean, the oh, the thing where he said, like, like millions of people are going to die who have never died before or something. I will. So is that what he said? I don't know. I tried to find the Oh, you can find it. And then now there's like reports or articles that that he that's not real. I mean, it could be a funny joke. But you could believe that. I could believe it. I think it's funny because you could believe it. It doesn't mean like, I mean, it's definitely not the worst thing he said. So I'm not. Believe me, believe me, that believe it in that way. <laughs> oh believe boy! Me. But yes, I mean, okay. So one of the best Trump impressions in the game, uh, and then also, I remember when we did that um, cause showcase thing together at the yes. East West Players um, Theater, and yes. the like, the stuff that you talk about about like being well, and I guess it's like also because I'm Japanese American, so I'm like. <laughs> wow, like, this is so what I think. But, like, you know, we're we're of similar, you know, fourth generation and stuff like that. Um, but when you were talking about how your girlfriend was like, you're like, she's from the thing. And then <laughs> meaning she's from Japan. And it was just, like, funny how you were being like, because I have that those feelings, too. I'm not really forming sentences clearly. But I have those feelings, too, about, like, you know, it is interesting because I we are not – Asian only, right? We're definitely Asian American. So I think a lot of the humor is like being mistaken as that, but also not feeling internally like you're Asian sometimes in the same way that other people are who may look like you, but like, you know, we have different experiences. So I think there's something so much more nuanced about like your stand up than like the white guy going out there, obviously, and being like, man, what are these Japanese people eating raw fish? Or whatever? I don't know. But like, you know, it's like when you comment on things, I think it's just like very nuanced and very like the Japanese American perspective or the Asian American perspective, which is cool. Um, and I, we don't get to see it often because, you know, oh, there's thanks, a few Sarah. out there. But yeah, no. So I, I definitely thought I was like, Definitely uh, crack it up at saying, you know, she goes to the, oh, I know you had a, you had a joke about going to like a Japanese restaurant and then you kind of imitate how they talk. Like, <laughs> just that sounds really big in it. No, I mean, how your girlfriend will talk to like the, the server and be like, you know, back and forth in Japanese. So you're like, what are they saying? And then like, did he just yeah. get her number? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I can get away with it. Right. Cause I'm Japanese. Right. Right. So I mean, that's like, how I, feel. I, you know, I do a good. Japanese gibberish, like hi, 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 they're freaking hilarious you Great know because i went there with her i went there with oh yeah her, fun and they're just so like they just do the job and they do it well and they're so serious about it and uh, which is tragic because i think that's why there's a lot of suicides over there because it's just oh. so much pressure oh you know and yeah. as like a as like a japanese american comedian who's kind of flippant about things i'm just i just I'm kind of looking in their eyes. I'm just like, hey, hey, Takashi, just, it's, it's just a job. Right, 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 right. You don't, yeah, you just, it's you don't not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Have a, have a drink after. You know, call your buddies up. Take a load off. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like That's that. So you could be that guy. You know, after all this stuff clears up, you just go around Japan and be like, hey, man. We went to a, we went to a mall. We went to a mall. 
like eight story mall and I was trying to find this purse or this wallet for my mom, a certain wallet. So I asked her to ask the girl, you know, the girls that are just the information desk oh, okay. at the mall. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I asked her, can you ask her where it is? And I said, hi, I'm all I'm all and the girl's just like, hi, so I'm going to say, I'm going to I'm going to say, 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 and it goes on for a few minutes, mm. and then she comes back, and I'm like, so they don't got it, huh? Where'd she say we could get it? She's like, no, they have it, seventh floor. I'm like, <laughs> the whole thing was seventh floor? Why didn't she just say seventh floor? I got to pee. Right, 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 right. Come on, right, we're right. in the bathrooms now. We gotta go through that again. You're so you're so polite. It's like in sure, sure. So it's you actually it harmful. Like... <laughs> you know, yeah, the guy who like polite. walks into the elevator because the doors are closing, but he walks in, causes the doors to open back up, and he feels bad, right? So he has to pop. So he bows to oh, everyone, uh-huh. everyone yeah. in the elevator. I'm just like, just, just, just get in. It's okay. Just get in. Just kidding. I gotta oh, go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is so conscientious? It's very, it's very, uh, it's very precious. So I, I do, yeah. Too polite. Yeah, for I admire, I admire from afar, but I know I would probably be like, what? Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we kind of gotta do our Wrap thing, it up. dude. Wrap it up. <laughs> we gotta do our thing. Gotta get this wallet. We gotta fly home. <laughs> Have you Before, been there? I went. Yeah, I went when I was, I think, twelve. Is that right? Okay. You're not, so, but you're 12 now. Yeah. So, right before Corona hit, I had to fly home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was very cool. Um, I still have some family there, so like my dad's cousins are still there, and kind of have moved in America okay. and lived back in Tokyo as well. And um, my and his like great aunt and uncle who are who are just the cutest. I think his great uncle passed away yeah. a little ago, but um, they're just the cutest and they're very healthy, even though they're quite old and. They're just yeah. very polite as well, but you know that's that's the deal. Have you ever wanted to do stand up over there, or um, or have you done stand up you know, abroad? I've never done stand up abroad. No, I've never done. Yeah, I think I, you know, I've I've uh, I just, I mean, well, I don't like speak anything else, so I don't know if that's a barrier. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could yeah. do it to like expats or um, yeah. English speaking folks and stuff, and see if it lines up at all. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it'd be, uh, it seems like there's a budding comedy just industry in general in Asia. So maybe that will open up at some point. But yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I just want to be on Terrace House, <laughs> you know? Right. Right. Okay. So we got to get into that a little bit. Um, <laughs> Did you see my remix, the Terror, Terrace House? No, I didn't. Is it on? Mm-hmm. I think I posted Instagram? it on my gram. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed it. I'll go. I'll go back. But it, it, my buddy, my it was my buddy's idea. He does a lot of like mashups. Oh, uh, like, oh wow. He's, he That's screen good. prints Terror's t-shirts and house? he'll like, yeah, terror, terror, terror house, terror house. Oh, great, terrorist terror house. house. No, just kidding. Um, terror house, and we're just stuck in a barrack. Wow. In an internment camp. Wow. That's that's uh, that's real. <laughs> that could be like a drunk history. I'm sure they've yeah. done that, like a drunk history type of. Well, thing. yeah, there should be more. There should just be more in German camp content, not in like a making fun of it way. I mean, like in a there's nobody knows about it kind of way. Because like think about how many people watched your show and were like, oh wow, what is this? Is this fantasy? Like, and then we're like, oh, and then they <laughs> Google it and they learn more. But like. You know, I just think there should be more content, even if it's, you know, Instagram and you're just doing fun well, let's shit. let's do it. Yeah. A comedy. I have been wanting to comedy. do Comedy. All right, we'll do it. Um, uh, but yes, Terrorist House. So. Terror. terror. I've seen terror. you. No, I know, I know. But, <laughs> but... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not terrorists. We're terrorists. They're everywhere. Uh, yeah, well, the, but Terrorist House, the show. I just were fans, yeah. but also, you know, like several people have been on it. Yeah. So like my buddy, Randy, um, he and him and my other buddy, Chris, who does the, the screen, pre- they they were on to Tara, Tara's house before me. But uh, so they put me on. Nice. Well, actually, my girl, my girlfriend, she she put me on to it. I think, but, but they were on it before. But uh, so 
my buddy Randy, he does a lot of like um, promotion stuff. Like he was in the club, club promoting oh, before, cool. mm-hmm. but now he, 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 you know, helps a lot with like small businesses and like, you know, a lot of restaurants and stuff in Little Tokyo and uh, oh, sweet. Uh, stuff with Nisei Week. You know, love, week. love Nisei Week. I mean, lo- lo- love the Nisei. <laughs> love the Nisei Week. No one uh, loves Nisei Week as much as I do. I can't do the voice, but I feel like that's. It's the uh, gist. So he, I guess he reached out. I don't know how he met um, Eden Kai, who was yeah. on the Hawaii. Oh yeah, season. yeah. Um, what's his? What's that's his like singing name? I think right. Yeah, yeah, Yusuke. Oh yeah, Yusuke. Yes. Yusuke. 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 So I, I got to hang out with him again at my buddy Randy's wedding in Hawaii. Oh in yeah, Yusuke nice. There played good excuse funny yeah so like you know i met him through that and then um i think i slid in or my girlfriend slid into taishi's dm and was like you know my boy he's an actor you you know you guys should meet yeah and taishi is an uh, an actor he that was his whole thing he wants to be an actor in america so he's got to meet someone show him the ropes (laughs) And then we are at um, me and my girlfriend. We're at um, Tokyo uh, Disney Sea, the new Disney park in Tokyo. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, with the summer. ships. Is it cool? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Oh, cool. It's cool. Um, it's uh, I guess it's like a mashup of California Adventure and the regular Disney park. Oh, it's cool! Because cool. it's, like, um, it's like has like piers like, and stuff. Yeah, there's like a water, there's like a moat, and there's boats that take you around the different parts oh, of the film. But, cool. um, but we're walking, and it was fate that we met this cast member because we went to another ride, but it was a closed. Third. It was like in opera. It, w- it wasn't operating. So I we went back this other way to go to this other oh, part wow. in the park. And then right in front of me um, walks... Um, Oh my god, <laughs> the suspense, I can't handle it. Um, the Karu- Karuizawa uh, oh, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I the saw snowboarder. Recently. Oh, oh, um, t- Tanaka. Was that his name? No. T- Taka, Taka. 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 Taka Yuki. Taka. Yes. Taka walks right in front of us. Oh my god. Girl, the girl from the season. <gasps> and we, we both just go. She's like, that's him. That's him. Oh my go, god. Go. Go. go say something yeah. and she's like she's like pumping me up she's like you are on a show you're bigger than him you have no yeah idea. yeah go don't, don't don't feel nervous like you're an actor too you could do this i'm like yeah you're right you're right <laughs> you're right i can do this yeah i was on a show I, I, I'm, I'm an actor people yeah no you're yeah. right uh, yeah yeah and i was just like i i i don't uh uh i know talk to man uh it's pretty good. Terrace house, terrace house, the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, um. Okay, so um, watashi wa mi o deruku desu. Oh wow. And uh, and uh, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yeah, I watch. I know terrace house, ski. Yeah. And he's just looking at me like, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was very sweet. He I'm was very sure. Sweet I mean, it. I'm sure they would enjoy that. You know. All the way yeah. from America. They're international superstars, these Terrace House characters. Yeah. Um, that's a Who's big your deal. Favorite? Who's your favorite um, Terrace House person? season oh, and or character? Okay, so my favorite season may be controversial, but Aloha State because it was the first one I watched just by chance, but uh-huh. also like love uh-huh. Hawaii. So I'm, of course, going to not not watch Aloha State. Um, right, I thought right. it was a good, for all the folks out there who don't know what we're talking about, Terrace House is a Japanese reality show where six strangers live in a house. Maybe they date. Maybe they look each other in the eye. It's very, it's very, very tame, kind of anti-bachelor, like anti-American realities. You know, it's not, it's not overproduced anti-real, drama. Anti-real, anti-real world. Right, right. Same like setup, so but much, not So much tension, into, so yes, much build up. The of, joy is in like the, the tension, the, the either romantic right. or the um the antagonistic tension right. say between like the girls or like yes. you know the boys or like the girls and the boys and it's just like right kind of i guess i guess how i don't want to speak for them how japanese kind of is it's sure. just very like everything that's going on under the surface sure. you can maintain the appearance that it's all good 
but then maybe there's stuff boiling on. under. Yeah, and you get to see it all. What's really going exactly. on? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I think also I'm like, some of the things that they don't, that, that they're very polite about are different than what I would be polite about, but also things that they like bring up, I wouldn't bring up. Like for instance, they're always trying to like push each other. It's almost like career building too. So it's like, oh, we're going to be in this house. And then hopefully we can like all realize our career dreams. And they'll be like, hey, they'll like talk to the other guy. They'll be like, hey, um, I noticed that you weren't working towards your dreams today. Uh, like it's like, so I'm like, oh God, I would hate to live with them because I would be like, you know, watching TV and they'd be like, uh, Sierra, I noticed you didn't um, write any new jokes today. Is Are you giving up on your dreams? Because when you showed up at this house, you said you were committed to being a comedian. So I don't know what happened between then and now. Like they're literally always bringing shit up too. Or you're I'm like, whoa, they're not being polite in that sense, you know? Um, it's so, so true. It's like really stressful. But anyway, Aloha State, because it's like a little bit more Americanized because some of them are American as well yeah. as Japanese or whatever. And so but there then... is, it's funny. It's funny because yes, we could, we could post fun at them about that. Mm-hmm. But there's also like, do you find that there, that you learn? Like, oh, totally. Hey, no, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. You know, like you should... You should tell a girl if you like her or not, instead of this being right. like a two year, like, um, <laughs> I like, like you, but I'm not going to tell you. Sure, but sure. We're going to hang out and kind of flirt, but like, you're not going to know if I'm interested. Right. But God forbid. I, uh-huh. But I am, I think. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you know? no, I know they do. I, I think it's just like cool to watch people live and interact and you're just like getting to see how other people act even if like even if they were not in a different country or you know culture or whatever it's just like okay yeah I guess I am weird or like I guess I'm not weird and that's okay like it's just so <laughs> fascinating it's a great study um and then we we, we recommend it it's a yeah big recommend. it's really fascinating especially during this oh yeah this yeah quarantine time Netflix, settle in terrace house yeah you got to read subtitles but it, you get used to it um but yeah and then i and the food always looks yummy and delicious um so it gets you kind of excited to do some home cooking because they do a lot of that um but yeah and then i would say as far as favorite people I mean, I, you know, I still follow a lot of them on Instagram. Um, Oh, well, my, well, my big encounter with uh, Terrace House people was when I was at the OC Japan Fair in Orange County. I was like going there with my sister, like, haha, you know, just let's go get some food and it'll be fine because she like used to live a little closer there or something. And so then we went and I saw a girl in a kimono. Okay, because it's also a Japan Fair. So it's like. People are dressed up in kimono. Chicago. It was Chicago. I literally was like, huh, it kind of looks like Chicago. But she had a lot of makeup on. So, you know, I was like, I don't think so. And then I saw Taishi and I was like, oh, there couldn't be a Taishi without a Chicago at that time. And it was crazy. And then I freaked out. Like, I've never been so starstruck. Like, it's like, you know, you see people every so often, like, yeah. you know, and we You've work in LA. Joaquin and, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm like, Tom okay. Cruise, but but then, it was just like, okay. I know, Taishi. Oh, wait, I think he fr- froze again. Let me see if I can re. You don't have to hang up or anything. I'm just going to call you back, though. Okay. Okay, cool. We back. I think we just we continue. Back. But, um, but yeah, so... I literally have never been so starstruck and I was like freaking out and then I had to go run and tell my sister because she's also super into it. And actually, I think my boyfriend was the one who spotted Taishi and was like, that's definitely Taishi. So we were all fans and I'm pulling my sister like, come on, we got to get a picture with them. So we got a picture too. And then Taishi was like, even like, oh, I don't think he like understood that we knew who he was because I think people were just taking pictures with Chikako and the other kimono girls just like for Japan fair. Like they didn't know who she was. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah. we wanted a picture with him and her. We're like, no, you got to get in the picture. And then my sister was like <laughs> out like at a loss for words. Um, oh, wait, I think he froze again. Sorry, I'm going to try to do this one more time. Do, do, do. It might be my internet or something, but yeah, you're good. But yeah, is it storage? You think? Um, I should be good on storage. Okay, okay. But yeah, it would tell me. I think. I think it's just the internet. Okay, connection. so but so yeah. you're like, no, you take a picture with her, and he's like, no, I we are not together, and we. <laughs> they were still at this point, but yeah, they aren't anymore. Stop controlling my life. <laughs> yeah, he was like, please, no pictures. I'm a big actor. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
but yeah, no, it was it was great. Uh, you know, uh, do you it's watch fun. his? He's got a YouTube channel. Do you watch it? No. <laughs> Lala, <laughs> is it good? I don't want it. I, I mean, look, maybe this it's is the Japanese, time that I pick so. it up. Yeah, I mean, it would be just hard if I need subtitles. I'm unfortunately, I was trying to learn a little on Duolingo. Maybe this is the time to learn. I don't know. I don't know. Duolingo. Duolingo, but it doesn't really help because Duolingo doesn't really have like a speaking component in the same way that a class would, I guess. Rosetta. Rosetta. Yeah, maybe. Um. So what about so um. During this freaking quarantine. Quarantine. And yeah, like, that's just, I'm good with just watching shit all day, you know? Right. Um, but I don't know. It's just hard to, like, think of, like, oh, my, you know, my, my, my single cam uh, romantic comedy pilot. Um, like, is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're trying yeah, to, like, to be productive? That. No, we're going to shoot in like 2023 20, when we can go outside. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Good. Like, I can't imagine people being like that productive right now. I'm just reading the news. And like, I, it's like yeah. I, I'm distracted from watching TV even. Like, I'm like, oh, I really want to finish this show, but I got to watch the news. And like, you gotta, the you show is know. a distraction. You be informed. Normally. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard. And I think that people shouldn't be so hard on themselves about trying to be productive yeah. during this time because it's not yeah i don't know it's just not a normal but then time. it is kind of but do you feel because i've seen uh comics or whoever tweet it and it kind of it kind of like people kind of need some levity so it's yeah, like yeah. okay if i can make something and make someone laugh yeah you know, oh, just totally. one person saying thank you i needed this then i was like okay that's right right what i should be doing um mm -hmm. yeah i mean i think it's important like if we if you do like the content social media content stuff i think that's great because then it gives people a little bit of a break um i mean i notice i'm reading more tweets and like i'm not so i don't feel so bad as i normally do on twitter because the news is just so bad in general so that's kind of expected but if i read a joke that someone wrote and it's like makes me laugh i'm pretty thankful for that or like watching clips of people stand up um which i don't normally do or you know, movies. What about, have you out. seen mm -hmm. these, have you seen these, um, open mics and like sure. shows that are being live, live streamed? streamed. Like, I actually tuned how do you into feel about some, that? I mean, I, I haven't, I have yet to go live myself. I'm a little intimidated yeah. by that for me, but I have tuned into some people's live streams, um, kind of some by accident. Um, but I would say it's kind of fun because the funny thing is it feels like you're video chatting with them, but they can't see you. Yeah. So you can like leave comments. So sometimes, well, okay. So the funny thing is, so a couple things i'll go you know i'll tune into some that are like big comedians and they have like hundreds of people watching and like you could say like hi yeah. and it's kind of fun if they give you a shout out they're like oh hi sierra you know if they know you were like or maybe they're asking a question hey what movies do you recommend and you go oh you should watch parasite or whatever the fuck right so there's like that <laughs> stupid aspect of it which is kind of fun because it's human interaction if like you're not video yeah. chatting with friends but i would say the other thing is um what was gonna say oh i mean just like I clicked on, so I follow like this cactus store that I used to be living near. <laughs> and I was like, oh, the hot cactus store is going live? So I like clicked on it and there was like a dude. It was like a dude in his room. Like nothing weird. It was just like, I think it was the owner of the cactus store going live from his room being like, hey, cactus fans. Yeah. And I was like the only one there. It also shows you how many viewers. <laughs> it can be like, yeah. So you never know when you enter a live, like you can't tell how many people are in there. I prefer it's like a hundred so you don't get noticed, but sometimes you right, join and right. it's like four people and you're like, oh fuck, now I can't leave because cause they just saw me yeah. join and they're like, oh, hi, Sierra. Oh, hi, thanks for, you know, you're like, oh fuck, I got to get out of here, you know, but you can't know ahead of time. So you're just like, oh shit, I got to be like, oh, shit. hi. I got to get out of here. Uh, hi there. I don't think they tell you, I don't think they tell them if you leave, but it's just like weird because they don't, you don't know what you're getting into. You could be going in it's like the weird cactus owner's bedroom. Like, I don't, I just want to know about the cactus. I don't want to know about the weird owner, dude. So weird. Yeah. Um, I think you? that's, I think that's, mm -hmm. I think that's what um, keeps people from joining. Sure. They don't want to be they don't like, want to be, detract. they don't want to be called out or interacted with. Right, right, you right. Know? It's like, I'm and just like, trying to watch here. Yeah, find a wall. yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to voyeur it out, but uh, right. But yeah. yeah, I haven't I haven't really gone live either, but maybe maybe. I mean, it's, it's like a, it's. I think it's cool. Yeah. I know people are like 
getting sick of it uh, and just on you know the cynical types which is funny but it's like it is what it is i'm glad people are keeping busy and not going insane or they could do both i guess <laughs> yeah the multiple facetime thing that was that was pretty fun last night yeah, yeah. i mean that's we'd all done necessary. that and like the boxes get bigger depending oh on yeah <laughs> that's weird i don't like that <laughs> interface on facetime it looks so strange yeah, it's, it's just like it's, it's cool dizzy. <laughs> um it's but like of, yeah it's like, like a bunch of coronaviruses right like, yeah it's very appropriate for the times <laughs> um but yeah i mean at least i don't know have you picked up any uh new like have you watched any new tv shows or movies since uh i just finished the uh, most recent episode of dave oh cool i haven't Lil, seen that yet Lil, is it funny Lil dickies yeah it's funny sweet it's great it's light light it's light you know, you you do you know Little Dicky? Yeah, yeah. I mean, a fan the of his rapper, uh, music yeah, and yeah, music yeah. videos. So yeah. I, I remember yeah. hearing that that show was getting made. I just forgot. About and then Andrew it. Santino's on it. I don't oh, know cool. Andrew Santino, yeah, but like really he's either. you know a comic. Yeah, uh, he's in so much TV. He was in like This Is Us too. It's hilarious. Which is, I yeah, mean, like yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, you know, I think he was more I'm of a dramatic character, but it was like kind of funny to see his face. I'm dying up here. Oh yeah, that yeah. He was on big deal. Um, Rami. Oh, oh great! Like yeah, I, I have watched it. It's great. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoyed that because I was like, yeah, you know, I was torn with an idea of like a show, and it's like someone was like, "Well, have you seen Rami?" I'm like, "No." So I watched it. And I was like, "Yeah," and I'm a hater. Like, I'll just, I'll, I'm gonna confess it right away. Like, I'm just a hater. Uh, but you know, just in general. Okay. Not to run, you know. No, but yeah, I watched yeah. and I was like, "Oh, this is great." I, I, I mean, yeah, it's a good show. It's smart, it it's light, um, you know, it's it's personal. What what shows you know. are you hating on these days? <laughs> I don't want to say. <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> no, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not. You're scared, you're, not I mean, hating. you're, uh, you're, you went to, you know, you're a seasoned person in the biz. I'm a snob. Yeah, yeah I'm, you I'm went snob. through school for it, you know, you have a right to that, to your um, opinion. No, it's not that I'm snob, I don't know, it's just everyone just, Everyone has a very particular sensibility, sure. right? So certain things, mm-hmm. like, you can, you know, they, they, they speak to you or they're, they're, they're pleasing to you in some way. Yeah, and other yeah. things, it's like, I just, I just don't. It's not for you. I just, it's just not my thing. It's not my jam. That's um, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's a big thing. I think people have said, like, you know, if you're ever – telling somebody you don't like oh that movie was bad like say some people like that movie was terrible it's sort of like better to twist it more like oh it just wasn't for me because saying it's bad just you yeah. know it's subjective like comedy it's and subjective. everything yeah so everything. it's a good way to put it it's also the, the the oscars you know the oscars everything. are objective like, actually that's that's uh, oh. it's a divine divinely decided I didn't know that. yeah it's math it's all algorithms I see. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's cool. Um, and then, do you do you have any Westworld? Oh you yeah, Westworld? I just watched the first episode that came out on Sunday. Pretty exciting. I the loved. I mean, I love the first season, but lit. I really like the second season, which I think do is you? a a lot of people don't uncommon. Yeah, an unpopular opinion. I think because my first season experience was very much like, what is this? What's going on? I didn't know anything about Westworld. The movie or the original the original yeah and so then i kind of was like going in being like is this vr are they in a does it reset every day i was like very confused and like over really small details that i think probably weren't necessary the to be confused about yeah i was like do they clean it every night or is it a thing that gets reset based on if they die like i was just like very <laughs> confused and then do they have hand sanitizer <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Who, how are they washing this down without breaking the mechanism of the robot? Um, anyway, so I was very hung up on that stuff. So I think I didn't enjoy it as much. And then by yeah. second season, it's like I knew the world a little bit more. I also did the thing, which I do a lot now with everything, is watch all these nerdy recaps on YouTube afterward, which oftentimes oh, can spoil do. the experience because sometimes they have theories that end up being true um that mm. i wouldn't have thought of before but uh you know i think it does help because especially with something like westworld where there's so many easter eggs and so many things that i miss it's like kind of nice to have that extra like spark notes you know um, yeah no totally but like yeah there, you do learn something every time you rewatch 
totally uh, yeah. a season or an episode but it's just like there's so much shit you you, you feel like no i can't rewatch. I, i've got i've got to watch new shit right right it's like oh what am i gonna so do watch, watch this yeah again um i just uh actually watched <laughs> well i haven't i only watched the first episode but that little fire is everywhere on hulu because i just read that book oh. um oh you did so i'm I not sure for that. oh really wait i auditioned yeah. for the the Bebe character. Was it a Bebe related character? Oh, the 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 Chinese woman with the baby. No, no, I didn't. Audition, I didn't audition oh, okay. for that. Did you that audition role, for the no. Chinese woman I, I, with no, the baby? I, I didn't. I didn't go for that role. <laughs> but I mean, that. what? Oh, wait, 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 oh, I know who you auditioned <laughs> for. I know who you auditioned for. The lawyer. You auditioned yeah, for yeah, lawyer. the lawyer. Okay, yeah, because that's in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, the the lawyer in the book is a Japanese guy, right? Or is he Chinese? Oh, I don't remember. I mean, what's the difference? I know. What about all the? I mean, in my, in my, I don't know. I'm both. Who knows? Isn't everybody both? Oh, are you? Is I that am. your other? So I get the yeah, I get the Japanese and I get the Chinese. So we got the coronavirus and we got the Japanese side. The Olymp- the, Oly- the Olympics. So. Yeah, yeah, the Olympics and I got the Corona. Um, but yeah. Um, can you? I I think you answered me before but i'm still not clear where did the w come from oh right right so that's i name. think another one of those immigration screw-ups because okay. i think i mean our name's obviously kato which is common and no it's not obvious right? no. no it's not <laughs> obvious at all because <laughs> well, if it was kato it'd be spelled kato i know so, i know we screwed we and screwed i feel up. bad every time i bring you up on stage i'm like sierra kato yeah yeah it's really yeah. it's really awful Honestly, I counted against Katow? you. Um, but Does yeah. Does everybody say that? Katow? Katow, hey, yes. Sierra Katow. Sierra Katow. Yeah. I mean, it's more fun to say. It gives you a little extra pizzazz. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not my name. Not my name. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I would say I, I kind of lean into it sometimes because I think people would, because my email is S-K-A-T-O-W. So Skatow would be a big thing. Skatow. Skatow. You know, okay, back so in the it day. Okay, so for, Yeah. Back in the day when I had nicknames. Um, but How yeah. far back did it go? Is it your parents, your grandparents, oh, it's my... your great-grandparents? Pretty sure it's my great-grandparents. So it's just whenever they came here. Really? I think wow. so. So your parents and your grandparents had to put up with that as well. <laughs> like from yeah. the community. Like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah well, you yeah, know what's yeah, fun about fun. it, though, is we always know who our family is because we're the only one oh. with the name. So if I see... Yeah, yeah. Oh, another... You're the typo. You're the typo family. Exactly. So, so I'm like, yeah, <laughs> here's, typo, a, here's a fellow the typo, typo man. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, but oh, oh, here's the other thing. I'm living in the same house that my grandparents, my Japanese grandparents live in. So they had like all this old stuff here that was all katowed up, you know? Yeah, from like from like feudal Japan so I still times, get... like the, the, the samurai. Like oh, the actually, samurai though, I was told as a child that I would get a yeah. samurai sword because I'm the last Kato. Because there's no one else in my family who has my last name. I don't know if that was just told to me as a lie, as like a ha ha ha. Mm. Let's prank. Let's punk this child. But um, yeah. So maybe I get That's a samurai how every sword. Every family does it, right? Like you're the last. You better bring honor and procreate I know. And but then even my kids honor. won't necessarily have the name unless i make that happen you know what i mean not by and you will by, because i mean i will 2020 and if you don't i will it's you, yeah it's not an issue but um behind yeah. but yeah it's it's not built into the system the patriarchy the system is crashing the system <laughs> the system doesn't the exist minute, anymore. By, the that minute, is very true. The, by the minute that is very true know, the system is becoming westworld yeah, I, I I would like to go online just for the rest of uh, my life. Should we just upload to the cloud? Um, Isn't there a show? Upload? Oh, upload. Yeah. Ugh, there's a show for everything. You, anything you ever say out of your mouth, it's already a 12 season television show. Um, but but yeah. Out of your mouth. Have you seen that one on Netflix? Ah, uh, fuck. No. Fuck. There's, there's um, not I understand. I understand. Um. So what about more, you? Oh yeah. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Got any fun plans this weekend? <laughs> any, fun, any fun plans? Um, well, I would say this. I am. I had Disneyland tickets that I bought, the Southern California uh, resident ones, which are like three day for uh, like cheaper than they would be. And then we went uh-huh. once and then now we like can't go. But and it's going to expire. But I think they said they'd extend the deadline because they're all shutting down. Okay, So they're not going to um, refund. They're just extending it. I think so. Day for day for the okay. amount of times they shut down. But it's like, ugh, I mean, it's still going to be madness. Um, 
But yeah, fun plans this weekend. I'm probably going to like, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine that Disneyland instead of like the mist of water is just going to be sanitized? <laughs> oh, gross. Yeah, you're just like, oh. <laughs> every time you like go through Splash Mountain through sanitizer. <laughs> it's going to be like Lysol disinfectant, like, you know, with the Lysol freaking logo at the bottom. I mean, of the yeah, sprayer. Disney brought to you. I mean, all those disinfecting <laughs> companies are going to be rich enough to be have like stadiums by the time we're out of this, you know, be like fucking <sighs> the Lysol stadium, the, oh uh, the Clorox. Uh, I don't know. Every door is going to be every door uh-huh. and faucet's going to be automated. Everything's going to be automated, yeah, yeah, so you don't have to touch anything. That. They should have done that. I was wondering if this was all just a thing for them to test out, like, automated um, vehicles on the road for oh, Elon Musk to just, right? Yeah. So you don't have to deal with human Yeah, pesky, pes- pesky pedestrians that they keep running over yeah. and killing. And Whoopsies, robot, no see. <laughs> Can't you see that? Just like a like a driverless Tesla Pulling I mean, up right in front, right here, and delivering your, yeah, you could go your in. toilet paper, your hand sanitizer. They better get, food. yeah, it'll happen. They were already kind of having little robots, like, come deliver your Grubhub for a while. <laughs> is that how? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd imagine they were doing. That's not how they walk in Westworld. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, <laughs> trust me, Westworld, that's just, like, a precursor to what happens. Dolores used to be a Grubhub delivery woman. Um, yeah, I think... <laughs> That's right. All those things will totally happen. It's gonna be fun. Did you? Uh, do you? Are you getting into any recipes or cooking? Do, I don't know. Uh, Making smoothies. My dad likes to cook. Um, he does. He likes the hot pot. Oh, nice. You, have the hot, you guys got the one of those you know, big bowl pot. things. We did some, we did some uh, corned beef and cabbage. Um, nice. Some stew. Some curry. Um, I made, uh, I just made some, uh, breakfast potatoes and eggs and bacon for the parents and, uh, some pancakes. Um, nice. I don't know. I haven't gotten too crazy. There's not. Did you get that? Um, did you get the text about, um, uh, they're going to enact, you know, Trump's going to put the Stafford Act and martial law is going to be put in place in two days. Oh, a so text? St- stock up. Like my mom got a message oh, from like her friend forward? on Facebook. I didn't see that. I, and her daughter got it. Oh, interesting. And so like no one said that, that night, me. that night, I'm like, let's go. Let's go. Mom. We got to get our shit. Go, go, with go. Sprouts. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. You know, like running around, getting all the like non-perishables. Mm-hmm. Like a freak, like everyone else. Yeah. You know, you know, Ralph sent that freaking tweet out, you know. Yeah. Or, <laughs> Come get it. <laughs> it's going you fast. lowly beasts yeah i mean everybody's kind of in that mentality already so i feel like it would just not change anything for me <laughs> be like yep i'll start eating my clothes <laughs> i've got i've got one t-shirt that i probably won't use you know dip it in dip in a little uh ketchup well that's if you run out of toilet paper there you go oh, fuck. yeah gotta do both um but yeah, I, I uh, you know, things are things are pretty wild. Things are pretty wild. We did yeah. get a package stolen. So we're a little also worried did about Did you really? Yeah, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. We left it outside because we were scared to touch it. <laughs> so it's kind of our fault. Really? But it was like a heavy package. So I don't know why they took it because it's heavy. Um, so yeah, so we're a little worried about like security and just like, do we need to fucking, I don't have any weapons, but oh, I shouldn't say that. I have lots of weapons. <laughs> No, I don't. Oh, but oh, yeah, you I just do. try not to. You do. I don't want anybody you do to you know, think I don't. I mean, I'm like, I've got, you know, maybe I'll go to like do some knife throwing tutorials on YouTube. Um, but yeah. that's a little worrying, I guess, just like general desperation. How and, is it? How is it in LA? Um, like, is it, is it eerie? I'm still even a little freaking far. out or are they still cordial? Like... I mean, the last time I saw anything because I went on that hike was on Wednesday. And like I said, it was very crowded because I think people were like, I need to go outside and it's sunny today. And like, to be honest, yeah. um, it was like a little too crowded and a little too nonchalant for me. But that was, you know, three days, two days ago now, which is um, in Corona time, a thousand years. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's like today. And also I'm a little east of LA. I'm in like Boyle Heights area. I should 
say, and so I'm not really like in the thick of it, but it's still like I have the citizen app. So I'll like, you know, get alerts. Um, do you know what that is? It's that. Yeah. So I've heard about this. It's just updates. Yeah. It's like police scannery almost where they, you can even get reports of like somebody reporting some things, even if it's not necessarily like big news. So it's like, Oh, somebody reported a burglary or somebody reported that they saw a man walking with a knife or a gun or something. So whether or not it's confirmed, it's just sort of like, lets you know but then sometimes it it'll be geo- weird yeah Pacific? yeah so it'll be like they know where i am so then they could be like this is a mile away or this is like down the street oh wow so like that's then pretty, there's um that's informative but it's also like oh, it's kind of like ignorance is bliss oh like, totally i mean it's it can make you so paranoid <laughs> yeah um we had we like had do night, i need uh, to know about the domestic violence going on right no now. i know there's a lot of like you know? assaults and you're like oh i mean it either it sometimes sounds like it's personal Right, which feels at least a little less scary than random. Right. Um, than if it's random, even though it's still right. dark, but like, yeah, then those, it's like you kind of didn't have to know. But I mean, the one, yeah, there's also one was like, woman was exposed to chemicals in her eyes. And it's like, what? I don't, this sounds super personal. No. <laughs> like, like, I don't know if I need to know about that. But, you know, and mm, then there's some yeah. fires that they'll be like, oh, a fire happened here, or like a fire in a dumpster or whatever, you know, dumpster fire just all over the earth. Um, <laughs> the entire earth is a giant dumpster fire. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of that too. So, you know, take it or leave it. Oh, my God. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be okay. I just got to go to knife school. YouTube.com slash knife school. Knife school. Yeah. We've got some samurai swords. Oh, fuck. Well, see, I, got, I didn't get mine yet, so... They're gonna just leave me here to die. No sword. They didn't. They didn't pass down the the Katal samurai sword. I mean, I've yet to see it. I've yet to for see it. Twelve generations. I know. With a with a typo. Yeah, yeah, it's got a typo <laughs> on the sword. The sword is also fucked up. It's got the Japanese kanji for ka to, and then just a, a w. w and a <laughs> <laughs> an alphabet. <laughs> Greek Roman, whatever we are. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, but yeah, well, okay. I think we should, we could probably wrap this up. I don't want to keep you okay. from your busyness. From from what? From um, what? What do I have to do? I know this what is the I problem going? with podcasting. Now we could just go for several hours and nobody will know. Like, oh, is it time for sleepy naps? I don't want this to ever end. Literally, okay, it's I like go, I know. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to what's going on over there. No, no. I mean, yeah, it's literally like. Wake up, like, do what you got to do. And then by the time you're, like, done with the tasks you need to do, you're like, hmm, is it is it pasta time yet? Do I, yeah, do I eat the and time? then can I start drinking now? I did get wine delivered soon. So, I mean, I ordered a wine, wine delivery, delivery, so that'll be exciting. Yay. No, definitely alcohol is going, alcohol sales are definitely yeah. going, going through the roof. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like every quarantine-y. day is wine o'clock. Every time of the day is wine o'clock. It's like, why not? What I know. Do I Wake up, toss one back, get ready for the news. Yeah. Are you going to do anything? So I, I'm going to grow my beard out oh, for right. the duration. What are, are you going to, how are you going to? You know, I was thinking. I like, are you journaling? Oh, I guess you're podcasting, which is great. Oh, sure. I'm podcasting. So. Yeah, I, I did want to journal. I think that would be fun. Try to draw more. I uh, used to mm-hmm. do that before and just really never have in the past few years because i'm like oh do you post it on your instagram i don't i mean i'm definitely not gonna do that anytime soon just because i feel like i'm really rusty it's such a it's such a like muscle that it's like oh god i don't even know how to draw anymore (laughs) so (laughs) it's like yeah so it's it's definitely something where i'm like okay well i gotta get better at it but this is a good time to get better at it i guess um i did get a little like apple pencil for my ipad so i can draw right on the ipad which is really cool (laughs) hee 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 Oh, exactly. but, yeah. but that's not as satisfying as no, I mean, paper. it's yeah, Pencil it's more fun to I have other regular shit. But yeah, you know, if you're like looking to just sketchy sketch, you know, um, but yeah, I don't know. That's, I mean, that's what they want us to do. That's what they want us to do. Stay inside. Be scared. Order a bunch of shit. Yeah. Stream. Stream. Would you ever consider doing a Twitch stream? What is that even? I don't, I've never twitched. Me neither. Do you twitch? No, but I'm considering. So what is that? You're playing video games with people and doing this? I think, like, yeah, like, I think um, you're like, oh, get off. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what I imagine it is. I'm just kidding. I just never really, well, actually one of my friends, 
um, who I had on the podcast is a Twitcher, but he does like, uh, he did like experiences. Like he would go to a restaurant with a friend and like have a guest on. Like it felt like more of an interactive y kind of like active thing, you know, rather than video so games. So you don't have to play video games. I don't think you have to. But I think it's hard if you're just in your room because I think they w- expect like eight hour long chunks. So it's hard to do so what something is it? It's just like a It's just like a live streamed with comments. Yeah, yeah. And I think people can like, yeah, interact with you by probably so it's like commenting and yeah, yeah. I think so. It's a stream, but it's like pretty. Um, yeah, it's been around for a while, so people kind of have their favorite streamers, and you can donate money or whatever, or get donations depending on what side of the transaction you're on. And I don't know. I I'm it's literally me giving advice on something so I know nothing, but I think people do. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, what I'm kind of interested in is like I wonder if people will start here because i know it's maybe big in asia is like kind of doing the like more mundane like eating lunch uh, over stream so you like watch somebody eat lunch and you can eat lunch with them the mukbang do you watch the mukbang <laughs> video I don't, but i know what you're talking about i've seen a couple but it's like Ugh. my girl got me into that i'm like you stop it yeah stop that's watching. intense i mean you could do that <laughs> right it's kind of asmr kind of kind of like satisfying yeah yeah the big like seafood stuff yeah i don't know i mean i think it's all it could be all of the above you know yeah um yeah maybe people do i've i've heard people do live comedy shows on it before but i i don't think that's you know the norm um but yeah i don't know what what are we gonna do ah. should i dye well, my yeah, hair that. But I don't have any dye, so I can't really. I don't really can, want to buy it. You can that. order it. Yeah, I guess so. So you didn't bring the box in. What were you gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> leave, leave it there the for a couple of days for everything to die. Why? Well, I don't know. It might die before it like hops you from the guy to me to the box to me right away. Anyway, it, it's it's a moot point. It was stolen. <laughs> but um, but so yeah. What were you gonna do? I would I'm say not... I'm being probably overly cautious but i but i do like wipe down the mail oh yeah yeah i do too and stuff yeah well i don't so. know the mail but like stuff i buy i'll wipe it down sure yeah the groceries probably even if you can without making it toxic <laughs> um i don't know and then they see even it would take out like microwave it put it in another container oh, yeah. maybe microwave it that's what i did um maybe it's overly cautious but it's like yeah just dump it into like a plate microwave it especially if it's hot food obviously you probably want to do that anyway um yeah you know all the normal things we do during normal life just fucking zapping everything i just i put my my dish sponge in the microwave for 30 seconds and zapped it Mm. but i don't know if that does anything getting all these tips from like randos and my mom will send me a tip every so often even though, the yeah, Russian. my parents were hard to wrangle initially because they were like, oh, it's fine. I think we're going to go to this wedding in Hawaii. I mean, this was like a week or two ago that they still had this oh. wedding to go to, which, I mean, I would have also gone to if I had planned to, right? You know, but they obviously canceled yeah. it. But, um, but yeah, just like it was really such a trip for them. They were like, oh, I don't know. We're like, stay home. Like, I was like, mom, I'll get you your groceries because they're in their 60s. My mm. dad's in his late 60s. And... I was like, I'll get you your groceries and just like send me a list and I'll drop it off. And then you guys don't, you know, just take it in after I leave. And then my yeah. mom's like, I'm at Ralph's. I'm like, mom, <laughs> stay inside. But this was like early. So it was still not as scary, I think. I know. And I we saw were some articles. Twitter, it's so. like, we're the generation that's taking this seriously. Like the, sure. the older and the younger is not. Oh, interesting. So like, why, like, well, the kids don't why necessarily. Are we? Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you're on Twitter and connected to the internet, you're just, you're going crazy because you're reading everything. But if you're mm. more unplugged, which I think a lot of the older generation is, they're probably not seeing the same sensational things. Right. Right. But yeah. It's like, we're we're connected, but we're also grounded. Yeah, hopefully. Sort of thing. Because uh-huh. like we've been here before social media. We can hopefully filter out some crazy shit. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so you know, protect protect the parents. Protect your parents. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Yeah. Do you have any uh, 
since this is the old stay positive podcast you got any uh positivity tips you know keep your head up in these uh quarantine times um yeah i i think uh i think it helps to just unplug from some of the news sometimes like stay informed but don't like freak out mm-hmm. um yeah what you know watch watch some some things that are light to 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 keep you light and and i think i think things like this and connecting like just with uh what we we're saying with the facetime with your friends mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like that helps a lot totally yeah because especially if you're by yourself because if you're by yourself all you have are your thoughts and right. all the hysteria that's being um posted so it's like no it's not the end of the world it feels like it but you know we'll we'll get through it true and yeah. keep listening to sierra's podcast because it's it's always positive beautifully said and that's what I love about you. You're bit, you're always very pod, pod, positive, and uh, so yeah. Great. I mean, look, Tried. it was it was sort of a joke before this podcast. <laughs> like, I feel like the podcast was sort of like, I mean, but this is a little too genuine. And now we're like, oh, okay, yeah, this is tough. Got to stick, stick around, be positive, stick around. Um, yeah, what a weird, what a weird turn. Like even listening to, I think I released a podcast that I recorded with a friend from before. And it's sort of like, if they only knew, you know, you're just like, I'm oh, so sorry. When this was first starting out. Yeah, like, it was like out. I recorded one and I had it saved and I didn't release it yet. And then I like released it when it was starting. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow, this podcast is so irrelevant did you, now. Did you leave it up? Yeah, it's still up. I mean, it's just yeah. like all all the ones from before Corona are still up, yeah. but it's just like, You're like go out, go have fun. I mean, I even start listening to like go watch a movie, right, go to like, the theater. Yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go hang with friends at their enclosed spaces. Go to a bar. It's fine. <laughs> um, even the uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. Well, getting Corona brain. Um, but <laughs> I feel like yeah, even even just listening to podcasts of other people. That were some of my favorites. It's like I can't listen to them because I'm like, you guys aren't talking about Corona and it feels frustrating, you know? Like they'll Mm. have recorded something with like, oh, yeah, so, you know, here's the guy who founded this company. So what was it like when, you know, and it's like, I don't care. Yeah. No, yeah, I hear you. Things feel different states. Maybe it'll get to that, but I think since it's so fresh, I mean, right? Right, right. We're all just like, what the hell is going on? Right. It's okay to give it a give it a give it a minute and just yeah see see how things unfold. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, that that know. makes sense. I'm gonna go outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take a little take a little stroll. Is the beach okay to go to? Like, can you still go walk on the beach? I think so. That's good. You're near the beach. Are you? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. A little overcast, Go so. walk in the, do a little sand, sand castles, and then with yeah. gloves. I'll s- swim to Catalina. Yeah. You got time. Hopefully it's not there. Yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll just bust open the Jameson. The same idea. Yeah. A swim to Catalina, yeah. or as I like to call it, a stiff shot of Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> Damn it. You know. That could be a new, uh, a new drink at your local pub. Yeah, local, yeah. The swim to Catalina. Yeah, when the pubs are open. Three, swim, three swims to Catalina. Pubs will never open. Will they? Sierra? Will they? Will they? I don't know. If we were positive, they would. I think what should uh, happen is they should get tests going. Get like an easier version of the test. Like all these companies, these tech companies, yeah. just fucking churn them out and then line them out outside of these bars and restaurants and then people like get tested right outside and if they're okay, they can go in. Yeah. And then, or like... Um, is that allowed? Is that okay? I was, in, I was kind of into this uh, blood type diet. My aunt mm. um, gave me this book. Like it's, it's about uh, different diets for different blood types. And then she gave me a home... 
uh, test kit. So it comes with these, you know, these things that like you, a little prick of oh, your blood, whoa, uh-huh. and then it interacts with a certain thing. Um, I don't know, but I heard that they got to get like they got to get up there. Yeah, they got to be the, like the scraping mucus. your brain. I think double. Yeah. It's like double tooth, <laughs> double uh, tips up your double nostrils, and you know, double get down your throat and shit. But yeah, I mean, maybe they'll figure out a way to not have to do that shit. Listen, we're testing. We're testing a lot. A lot of people are being tested. Um, listen, we're, do- we're testing better than any other country. Okay, I think we're doing a great job. It's just disturbing. <laughs> Disturbingly close. <laughs> what was that? Did you fart? Was that your boyfriend? Did someone oh, he blew his nose. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, let's end this because I am getting... <laughs> right, we're getting the caps out. We're going crazy. All right, yeah, sure. We can um, we can wrap this up. So okay, so but I want to plug your shit. So obviously we got at Derek Z Mio on Twitter at Derek underscore Mio on Instagram. Yeah, I got a it's, YouTube page. YouTube. Derek Mio, one word. Um, That's big. That is Facebook. big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's I might big. be doing more things. Cool for YouTube. Um, and then, uh, if you got Hulu and you look and you like uh, historical horror, um, fuck yeah! Check check out the Terror. Do it. You got season so two. much time. Season one, both so, seasons. Both, both seasons. seasons. So you can yeah. do both. Both seasons. Knock them both out. You oh. know what I mean? But they're not. Oh. You don't have to watch season one to watch season two if you just want to watch season no. two. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, anthology. Hey, what was your show? Oh, was it a Netflix that I wrote show? On? Oh, uh, it is a Disney Plus show, but it's not out yet. But I want them okay. to release it because it's like, come on, we're all but here it's to all watch finished. it. You guys finished it's all done. Before? Yeah, like I stopped writing on that show back in December, but I think they're still like editing it and okay. translating it, so it's not done yet. But yeah, nice. but yeah, when it comes nice. out, you know, I will be Love hawking that, that shit. Um, Love that yeah, but yeah, cool. And then I don't know. Have you know? Have a safe time. Wash your hands. Be in touch, though. Be in touch. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. If you get the, if you feel the inclination, maybe we'll let's do a, a stand up. Yeah, yeah, totally. So you can go. Yeah, invite the hot the cactus guy. the the sh- The shop is called Hot Cactus <laughs> LA. That's why I'm not calling him hot. Just saying. <laughs> because it sounds weird. I, he, you know, not nothing against him. I just I'm being clear. It's Hot Cactus the I store. Mean, it does sound. It does sound dangerous. It's pretty dangerous. Lots of spikes. Those prickly plants. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's true. Alrighty. Well, I think this is this is where I leave you, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I'll but, see you. Uh, we'll be in touch. I'll see you uh-huh. Soon, in this life or the next. Sierra. I know. One of Thank these you. days. Thank you. All right. Thank you Thank for doing you for the podcast. Me, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, stay safe. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed that first remote podcast with Derek Mio. I think what a great guest to have as our first remote. You know, I I wasn't sure what to think. I was worried about technical difficulties, but he was really patient with me, which was cool. Um, And, you know, thanks to everybody who's still listening and watching and whatever, you know. Are we still alive? Yes, I hope so. So let's just, we're in this together, you know. Um, Please, if you can. Rate us five stars, us, me. It's really just me. This podcast is really just me. Uh, if you could uh, to- if you could toss Stay Positive, like five-star review on Apple Podcasts or iTunes or whatever they're calling it these days, um, subscribe, follow, whatever it is on Instagram, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Yeah, if you guys are listening to this right now, know that the visuals is on YouTube if you guys are in- into that kind of thing. I don't know. Um... And yeah, write me if you have any other uh, questions or things or topics you want us to go into here uh, at staypositive at gmail.com. And now that we have remote interviews as a thing, kind of the world is our oyster. You know, I feel more inclined to reach out to people who might want to be on the podcast and it won't inconvenience them by making them drive out here wherever I am. So, you know, do that. 
Um, hope everyone's staying safe, you know. Uh, hope you guys are getting that delivery. And if you have to still work for some reason because you're an essential person, I really thank you for doing that because that is, you know, beyond me. So thank you to everybody and have a good day.